construct a tangent to a circle of radius 4 cm from a point on the concentric circle of radius 6 cm and measure its length also verify the measurement by the actual calculation. So, here we have to draw a circle of radius 4 cm and and also we have to draw a circle of radius 6 cm. So, here the two circles are concentric circles. Circles with the same center are called concentric circles. So, just you see here. Now, if you take a radius of 4 cm with the help of a compass and scale. So, I took 4 cm. Now, you draw a circle of radius 4 cm. So, I draw in a circle of radius 4 cm. Now, I have to draw a circle of 6 cm. Now, take the 6 cm radius with the help of a compass. So, put the compass needle at the same place center, center of the first circle. Draw another circle of radius 6 cm. Why? Because both the circles are concentric circles. Circles with the same center are called concentric circles. First, I have drawn a circle of radius 4 cm. Next, I have drawn a circle of radius 6 cm with the same center. Here, two circles are concentric circles. Circles with the same center are called concentric circles. Now, you connect from center to any one point on the outer circle. So, this is A. After connecting, measure the length. 6 cm is the length. So, now you draw perpendicular bisector of this line segment OA. So, how you will draw perpendicular bisector? So, here the length is 6. Half of it is nothing but 3 cm. So, you take a radius of more than 3 with the help of a compass. So, I am taking 4. So, I am putting the compass needle at A and drawing one arc like this. Sorry. Putting the compass needle here, drawing one arc. And again, put the compass needle at O, draw one more arc. So, this point is P, this point is Q. Now, we join it. So, we will get the required tangents to a circle. So, this is tangent 1. tangent to measure the length it is approximately four point four centimeters so here also it is approximately four point four centimeters now verify by using formula here so, if you see here, it is a right angle triangle. OAP is a right angle triangle. APO, right angle at P. So, we know that in a right angle triangle, hypotenuse square is equal to opposite side square plus adjacent square. 
so opposite is nothing but 6 square is equal to hypotenuse is nothing but 6 square is equal to opposite is 4 square plus adjacent square so this is 36 and this is 16 so this is 36 minus 16 is equal to a d square this is difference is 20 that is equal to a d square square is coming to this side it will become root root 20 approximately 4.4 something so that's why hypotenuse square is equal to opposite square plus adjacent square so here hypotenuse is 6 square plus opposite that is equal to 4 square plus adjacent square 36 this is 16 that is equal to next step 36 minus 16 equal to a d square if it is coming square is coming this side will become root root 20 is approximately 4.4 thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel click on bell button for regular updates